Students at Olympic High School walked out of class today protesting their administration's handling of sexual abuse reports at the school. They say they originally tried to hold a protest Monday, but claimed the school's principal shut it down and instead offered to host an assembly behind closed doors. Those students weren't having it and today made their concerns public. They told WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly they hit their tipping point at a football game. Yeah, students tell me today that a student here at Olympic High School who had been accused of sexually assaulting another student was allowed to play in the football game. After feeling silenced, they want to silence our voices enough. We're tired of it. Today, Olympic High School students raised their voices in protest for all to hear. No, me, no. It's just ridiculous that it takes a football player for him to do this, for something to be said. Students say their tipping point came last week when they say a student accused of sexually assaulting another student played in the school's football game. The coaches covered up his ankle monitor so it wouldn't be shown. Back on September 14th, CMPD says they arrested a 15 year old for reportedly assaulting another student on Olympics campus. CMPD says the 15 year old was charged with attempted second degree rape, second degree kidnapping and sexual battery. Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools says privacy laws prevent them from confirming if that 15 year old was the one allowed to play in the football game. But today CMS admitted it never should have happened. My experience as a principal, athletic director and coach lets me know that sometimes we have to make tough decisions. And in this incident, we did not make the right call. CMS says moving forward, any student athlete that is arrested or charged with a criminal offense will not be allowed to participate while charges are pending. Students protesting today tell me they plan to protest at Olympic High School's next football game. That game scheduled for October 8th. In the meantime, CMS says they have taken action to protect student athletes during both practices and games. Reporting at Olympic High School, Asha Daly, WCNC Charlotte.